Take a chance, you never know But you don't know it's beautiful Anything is possible But you don't know it's beautiful Hello co-hosts and welcome back to my channel. We're going to get right into it. We're not going to waste any time because I know what you guys are here for. So first things first, when you're dyeing your hair, you're going to need some latex gloves to protect your hands because you are working with dye. So you don't want it to stain. You're going to need a rat tail comb, a some type of like hair dyeing brush. You could use this or you could use your hands or a spoon just to help um, apply the product onto the hair. You're going to need scissors only for you know to cut like the product and you know your bundles and everything but after that you'll be fine and then you are going to need some developer i'm using the clear all professionals and the volume 40 i believe the box for the high color highlights actually says 30 but this is just what i wanted to use to try and get it to live brighter you're going to need some type of mixing bowl i was being ratchet and just use one of my bowls i did throw this out after i just used that once so i could get more product and then this is going to be the start of the show we're going to be using the high color highlights in magenta as well as red so this product specifically is for black hair to help lighten up black hair so if you're if your hair is black or if your bundles are black this would be good for you if your hair is like blonde or any other type of color you may have to find another way to um process your hair because this is specifically for black hair for dark hair only it clearly says on the box this hair today is going to be from beauty forever i am using three bundles of brazilian body wave i believe in 2022 20, 24 and then a 20 inch 5x5 five five lace closure and once you have all of those products you are good to go i did buy in total six boxes of hair dye four magentas and two reds and it's going to be one box of red per every two boxes of magenta so the easiest way for me instead of trying to just squeeze the product at the tube is to just go ahead and take your scissors and just cut the bottom off because it'll be easier to get the product off the, out this way versus trying to squeeze it out you'll be saving more product so i'm going to go ahead and put two of the magentas in there so that's what we look like before and then i'm going to mix in the red just so we can get it nice and even and it won't be like blotchy when we go and actually apply it to the head so i'm going to mix all three of the colors together and then we're going to go in with the developer and we're going to be using a cup of developer i used the cup but then afterwards i went back in and put some more in and as i was dyeing it i was putting more developer in it to try and like stretch it out because i was really afraid that i didn't have enough dye um but you really want to you really want to mix it up and take your time because it's going to be really loose but you want it to get nice and thick well it's not really that thick but you want this type of consistency but like i said so we used probably like a cup and a half because i kept pouring more in it because i was so afraid that this was not going to be enough and then once you are all set with the mixture, you want to go ahead and get your bundles laid out. I dye my hair like this. I take the bundles, leave it like wrapped up how it is in like two. You know what I mean? How it's just like the it's two of the bundles together. The one track, but it's holding half that. So it looked like two tracks. I dye my hair like this just so I can be more precise and really get, you know, the product all over the hair. But it's honestly just a little bit annoying um I, and then like as you see i'm also taking the brush and like going in and put it putting it on the bundles and then i'm going to use my comb to like comb it out you know um i feel like this weight method will be perfect for beginners you want to take your time you want to make sure that you get everything all of the color all over the hair but if you're in a rush this way is going to be very it's way more tedious it is way more tedious because you have to do this entire side then you gotta flip it over and do the other side so that's this is the only bundle that i actually did it this way the other bundles i literally just flipped in half and then poured the product all over the hair and was just rubbing it in and it was massaging it with my hand because it's so much faster but i would definitely prefer this way if it's this if you're a beginner and this is your first time ever dying here you definitely want to be precise and make sure that you get all of the product on the hair because you don't want any black spots you don't want any parts to be more you know colored than the other so if you're a beginner i would say definitely take your time but i have time for that like i've dyed my hair multiple times i've done my hair multiple times so i was just like over it after i did this bundle 
and the purpose of like combing the hair is to make sure that you get the dye on like all of the strands so you want to comb it through to make sure that you get it on every strand because you don't want strands of black and then strands of blonde you want everything to be colored and then afterwards just massage it in get it everywhere get it on the um get it on the tracks get it all throughout the hair you know, if you want to pour more product on it, you can, but definitely work it into the hair. And then that is how it looks when I'm done. You can kind of see that it's starting to process already. You can see some of the red, but that is what it looks like. So for the closure, you want to be a lot more careful with this than you are with the bundles just because this has lace on it and you don't want to get the dye on the lace, especially in the front because that's what's going to be showing the front area or wherever you're going to have your part. So what I did was I parted the hair down the middle split it up in two sections and then i did section by section with dyeing the hair so i wanted to have black roots still i really didn't want the color to be straight from the roots to tip i wanted to look a little bit more natural i guess and make it look like it's growing out of my head so what i did was took some aluminum foil and put it over the roots and then went ahead and dyed the hair in every section that i did i put aluminum foil on top of the roots just to protect it from not only the color that i'm putting on that section but then the other section that i'm going to put over it i don't want that dye to get on it all right y'all so this is what we looking like this is how much dye I have left over, which is really good because I really thought I was going to run out of hair. This is the closure so far. It is processing. And these are the bundles. I'm, I'm pretty positive that these are like really finished processing because they got super, super puffy. Um, but I had more dye and I didn't want to waste it. So I put some more on it with my hands just like rubbed it in so i think i'm gonna let it sit it is 8 29 now i think i'm gonna let all of this sit until 8 30 and then just start washing i'm gonna wash those first just because i started at like almost seven o'clock um so it's been about two hours um but i started these first and i did the closure last so i, I think i'll wash these out first i'm gonna let my closure sit for a little bit just so it could either be brighter or be just the color will match that but i'm a little nervous because as you guys can see in here i don't know if you can but like like right there some of the pieces are lighter that kept happening as i was doing it so i had to keep like stirring up the mix every time and i know i put in two different colors so it's probably because of that but i'm just hoping that everything comes out you know as just one nice looking color that i, pr I really pray that there's no streaks or like blotches or anything and i'm hoping that i don't have to go out and buy more dye and redo it just in case but yeah i'm gonna let this sit until nine then i'll start washing these and then i'm gonna let it air dry go to bed and then tomorrow we'll see what everything looks like as far as the color because you really can't tell the color as it's um damp you really gotta wait till it's dry so all right okay people so this is the finished result as far as the color get into it get into it get into it let me get closer to the light oh don't mind all the bottles but yeah so this is the finished look i'm happy with how the um color turned out but as far as the hair but as far as the hair like the actual hair we're gonna have to have a conversation about that maybe later on i do think that this is probably like the perfect color for you guys to try for fall burgundy and olive just screams fall um but yeah so i love the color i think it turned out really really cute um it's not as bright as i wanted it to be i mean it's it's pretty it's a it's a good color it is a really good color i don't remember it's brighter than how i made it the first time i got this hair from beautiful ever hair like i mentioned in the video and it just did not i don't know when i colored the hair the first time i did it from unice and yes when you process hair it's going to turn out different you know as far as like texture and stuff like that which is kind of expected but i wasn't expecting this and i'm sorry that i probably didn't do like a sit down video but honestly it's late and i'm actually not feeling that good um i'm hot these lights is making me hot i'm a little nauseous i haven't only eaten like one thing today so i'm just wanted to hurry up and hop on here and just like close a little video out 
but it was really focusing on the color and i think the color it turned out really really pretty i think it's really pretty but yeah so this would probably just be like my youtube wig maybe not for work i honestly wore it like for two weeks and then i was just like i was over it because like i said the texture of the hair changed and i'm not too fond of it and actually i think i'm going to cut it because i realized that i like how shorter hair looks on me rather than long hair like by length hair i love that i think that that's more me that's more deja versus trying to be like super super long and have inches i'm over it honestly but yeah so thank you so much guys for watching this video on how i dyed this hair i hope you guys you know got some tips and i hope you guys try out this color if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as well and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when i upload next okay peace take a chance you never know but you don't know it's beautiful Anything is possible But you don't know it